not every NPC needs to be thoroughly thought out. Like a lot of people put pressure on, oh, I need to make sure this NPC has, you know, everything thought out to it. And sometimes I just roll a die. All right. It's, uh, you know, put the races on what it is. All right. It's a halfling and we're just going to run from there and just yeah. and see what happens. Yeah. And sometimes best NPCs. Are right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Exactly yeah. It. Yeah, um, some of the NPCs that I've just like completely pulled out of thin air are the ones that my players are like, can we go back and see that person? <laughs> yeah, and you're like, yeah. oh, geez. <laughs> like, that's when it gets <laughs> to you. Like, sometimes that makes like that non pressure or, oh, I need to make a really cool NPC and you're working on it and you do it. And like, yeah, it still can come out really cool. And I'm not saying every NPC should be done off the cuff. But don't be scared to just, oh, they want to interact with somebody random. All right, I'll give them somebody red. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's one of those things that as that storyteller, you have a lot of other things that you can spend your time on than creating every NPC possible to make sure everything's flush as a story. Yeah, and I, I think mm-hmm. that's a I think that's a big part of I think that's a big part of your role as the dungeon master or or the game master is when you're telling this story, you don't have to tell everything. Yeah. I feel like that helps get players more involved. And it could also lend like a little bit of mystery, like to like your NPC even, where you don't explain everything about this person. You don't yeah. really have to give away all of their motivations. You know, mm-hmm. Th- this person is interacting with you because they need something from you or they want something from you. And it could be something more than that. It could be just that you don't have to give everything. That's something that I'm having a lot of fun with in my current game because I'm playing around with, with different time ages of my world where people where my player characters are interacting with things from different times and they're kind of piecing together the events of the past that's a lot of fun. And I think that, you know, that's a good thing you can do with your NPCs is maybe not have them just be so forthright with, with all information. 